uh, hello guys uh, uh, in the last uh, uh, video we have downloaded uh, uh, the google certificates google public certificates uh, which is required for uh, importing into the csrs and jc csrs for a particular java application we already discussed the same thing i'm just uh, uh, telling once again uh, so we have uh, uh, downloaded the certificates into google.pem so if you see the google.pem there are three certificates uh, over here uh, for google google site so what i have did uh, i have taken a, uh, these three certificates into uh, three single files uh, say for example uh, means the second and the third certificate i have imported into google 1 and google 2 uh, so the same certificate whatever we downloaded uh, i have just uh, bifurcated into three files because of uh, simplicity and also for uh, uh, to track which all the certificates we have imported into uh, csrs and jc csrs i will going to show you how it will going to helpful in future uh, so what i have doing okay in google.pem which i have a three certificates i am going to deleting the uh, the rest two which is already i have moved to the the google 1 and google 2 so i'm just uh, deleting uh, so i'm just saving so right now uh, we are uh, good to go uh, uh, go and importing these certificates into csrs and jcs so first of all uh, uh, whenever if you log in into the machine how to find out uh, where the what is the path of a csrs and jcs csrs so in order to do that uh, you can uh, you can execute which java so to check the where the java has got installed uh, in order to so once we get a user bin java just uh, do ls hyphen lrt user bin java uh, user bin java is redirected into utc alternate java these are the symbolic links so again you uh, you do ls hyphen lrt in utc alternate java you will gonna find the exact location where the java got installed so what we will do we will gonna go to this location into jre See, normally the certificates under uh, certificates will be lied under GRE path. So we'll do see a GRE lib path. So under lib, we need to go to security. So this is a path where uh, certificates uh, uh, repo means we can tell CSRs and JC CSRs will be there in this path. So we can see the CSRs again symbolic link to etc pi uh, java csrs that is fine okay so even if it is the uh, certificates lies in this path or uh, some other path that doesn't make any difference so what we will do we will gonna try to insert uh, certificates into this path uh, using the below commands so uh, so what i am doing i am just using a key tool command uh, so here uh, in this uh, let me explain what all these these uh, we will gonna use a import cert as a uh, uh, import cert as a uh, option so and alias name alias name is the basically uh, uh, it's a synonym for particular means it's a representation for a particular uh, certificate okay we can give any name so what i'm doing i'm just giving google.com so that uh, tomorrow if we uh, if we list a csr uh, then it will gonna show as alias name as a google.com so that you, you will get to know this certificate uh, is refer referring to the google.com certificate so then i am giving the key store path uh, and then a file from where i am importing uh, and the trust csr so this is a command i am using so what i am doing i am just copy and pasting and uh, try to execute in the same path uh, so it will going to ask a password password will be change it that is a default password for uh, okay key store is tampered or password is incorrect okay let me type once again so okay change it okay so whatever i provided a change it same password you can able to use so once we try to import a certificate whenever if it is if you are importing it in new certificate it will gonna ask whether shall i trust the certificate or not uh, so uh, normally right csrs or jc csrs it is going to ask uh, whether the you are importing a certificate which is a trusted uh, which is comes from a trusted certificate authority or not that is what it is asking you can press it as a yes uh, 
So then once you press, it will gonna add the certificate into our key store. So uh, how you can validate is again, uh, you can use a key tool command, key tool, iPhone, iPhone list, iPhone key store, uh, CSL, okay? So if you give this one, again, it will gonna ask a password, you give it as a change it. And then you can see uh, the certificate uh, got installed. So you need to search for google.com. Okay, let me see uh, where it is google.com or otherwise we can filter uh, filter it through, uh, um, okay, here, here is the google.com. So it is showing as a August 12th, 2021, which is a today's date. This is a certificate which has been imported just now. So this, uh, so I have told already alias name, right? Whatever we give alias name, it will gonna filter, it will gonna show. So if you give it as abc.com tomorrow, you cannot uh, able to differentiate which certificate I have imported after one month or two months. Uh, so in order to uh, uh, track which certificate you have installed, you need to give proper alias name. So uh, that's how actually, so this is the first certificate we already imported. So the, we will gonna import into uh, CSRs the second certificate. What we will do, uh, we will gonna go give alias name as a Google intermediate certificate, okay? Intermediate, intermediate uh, cert, cert one you can give. So uh, that's alias name. Uh, so what I'm doing, the, the path will be same CSRs and then I'm giving google1.com. So the same thing I'm importing, give it the same password as a change it, it will be added. Similarly, I'm adding a second certificate also. Google to So this is how uh, we can able to add uh, certificate into Keystone. So we can uh, easily validate. Uh, you can use as a grab uh, Google. Okay, so what you can do, so, okay, so uh, we can able to see the three certificates has been added into the uh, CSRs. Similarly, we can, uh, uh, we can export also, uh, whatever the imported certificate we can export into the temp file. So that also I will gonna show you with the command export, uh, you can mention uh, the alias name which we wanted to export, google.com. And then you can mention a temp, ABC, whatever I mentioned, I will take it as google.com, okay. Google.com, similar. So uh, I'm just uh, using the export command, key to life and export. So for import, key to life and import. So now it's got, exported into temp path. So again, this is a, a binary file. You cannot able to read it. What you can do in order to read it, you need to again use a key tool command. Go to the temp location. So uh, I can do uh, key tool uh, print cert. iPhone file, google.pen. The same certificate, whatever we imported, the first certificate. So this is how we can export uh, the certificate and also import a certificate. Similarly, what uh, I, I can delete also. So if I don't need this certificate, I can delete also using a delete command. So what I can do is uh, go to the uh, mention as a google.com and then uh, um, just execute it, that's it, okay. so. You can delete the uh, whatever the certificate which is got imported. So how then we can validate also. So what you can do, you can go to this path uh, and then validate. I'm just going into this path and then key tool, iPhone, iPhone list, iPhone key store, then CS search, grip, Google. So google.pem uh, got deleted. So suppose uh, I just executed uh, to delete alias google.com, now google.com got deleted. 
okay that's it uh, this video related to the import and export and delete aliases so thanks for watching uh,